All right, I kind of want to wrap this guy up. Um, I don't know if this will be a separate video or if I'll just tack this on to a different one. Um, but here's what I got for a uh, waveform here now. Um, I got the same DSO 203 scope out. Um, I can't remember, I try to look back to see if I had um, the blue trace and the yellow trace the same as the last time, but um, I didn't, so here's what I got. Um, I got it still hooked up down there, same probe, same wires, all that stuff. Um, I did change the yellow traces scale to a one volt DC, I believe the last one was a two volt. Um, right now I got the pattern froze. Um, and you can see, I believe that you can see the notch here used to line up perfectly with that. And now we are over a little bit. Um, I should take some cursors and put it in, but I just, I mean, I can't, I can do cursors with this, but they're not, they really don't tell you a heck of a lot, I guess. I suppose I could put some cursors in and see the time base, how far stuff is off and measure it, but so I've, I haven't, don't have that much experience with the scopes to really know a lot about what's all going on there um let me see if i can just quick let's see so we can see i'll move the one cursor over into that notch and see how it's just not quite measured up with that guy and i'll move the other one way over there too so that's just what i'm basically lining these up on i'll see if i can um get pictures of these and put them in a video or put them in the description or something i don't know i gotta figure out how to do that yet so let's see so to the beginning of that notch it looks like it's four and a half four point six milliseconds um, from the center of the crank notch sink notch to the cam lobe there um, you can zoom in more on that yellow trace and get better detail on it but I wanted to be able to see um, a full like a 720 degree rotation there um, on one screen so I can kind of line up the notches easier so I mean I can let's see let it run Let's see if we can do this through the viewfinder. And so I can change the um, volts per division here and get it to kind of get bigger and smaller. Yeah, see here, it's getting too choppy. Back to volt. Yeah, we can go two volts. Um, change the time base. And that'll so you can see those sink notches better now, but it's harder to see how everything lines up with the cam signals this way. So I just, what did I have it at 20 milliseconds? Yeah, that way I could see the sink notches better. Um, yeah, so that's what I went by. You can pause it, just like that. I'll put a link for this little scope down below it's a good it's basically like a four channel u scope from what i found out during my video research and all that um it seemed like a nice little scope i mean it's no pico scope where you could zoom in better and get a better picture but it's just the way it is um so yeah that's really all i got for this video i guess um yeah let me know if you got any questions on the scope or anything like that and i'll try to kind of learn some more about it and form a better opinion on it i guess and maybe do a follow-up video on something else um, i've tested a few things on the truck with it just so i get a better understanding of it uh, it seems pretty decent so far so like i said i'll see if i can figure out how to put the pictures down below or just post them both next to each other at the end of the video or something 
Um, and that way, if somebody else needs a waveform like this, hopefully they can pause it and screenshot it or at least look at it and see about where it's supposed to be. So thanks everybody for watching and hopefully uh, check out some of my other videos. We'll see you next time. One more thing. I did want to add that I am going to put some wire sealant back on there, some liquid electrical tape. Uh, just for people who are wondering, um, here's stuff I'm going to put on there. It's, you can get it at your, any your local hardware store probably. So just wanted to add that little part in there.